Those are fantastic. Hi, welcome back to the garden. We've got some peppers we need to pick. I got several people that think they want to try these hot ones. Come on, let's see what this harvest looks like. Wow, look at that. I think we're going to try to make some cowboy candy. These are nice. There's a bunch coming on that haven't started turning color yet. These are just popping right off. These are good and ripe. Northeastern Oklahoma, this is the time of year the peppers really start putting on. And we got tons of flowers up in here. By pulling these off, that ought to encourage us to go ahead and make a bunch more fruit before it frosts. Well, let's go check out the hot peppers. Let's plant peppers. Definitely have a reaper that's been in the container for two years. This has got some chives with it. And then I'm not sure, I'm hoping this is the Mad Hatter. But we'll see what we get. This is the one time in our no dig garden that we dig. Like with everything else, we're only gonna dig a hole big enough to fit what we're putting in there. And since we got a five gallon bucket, I got a hole to dig. Now that's some nice roots. Now make sure you don't have any air gaps at the bottom. And then backfill with soil. In preparation for planting these, I went ahead and treated with castor oil. I want to make sure we don't have any vole and mole damage. And you can tell the difference. This one was only in the container over the winter. It has nowhere near the root system. But just like everything else, get those roots down in there. Backfill your soil back in around them. You only want your soil up to the crown. Wow. Look at that. I'm going to clip these off and leave the stems on them. Those are fantastic. Those are absolutely fantastic. I probably should be using gloves. And I'll go to itch my nose or itch my eye and be re <laughs> not be real happy about it. This plant is just loaded. We got one, two, three, four, five. We got another dozen small ones coming on. And by taking the ripe fruit, that's going to encourage it to go ahead and make some more. I got a couple of these. I'm not even sure what this is. But I'm going to take it. While we're out here, let's get a couple of these sweet mad hatters that are turning orange. Some of these can really stay on for a little while longer. This thing is just loaded and they're ripening. Got some Anaheims over here that are getting just about ripe, but I'm not gonna pick them today. Now these little guys are about 50,000 Scoville. They're pretty tasty. I've added them to cooking on a few things. It doesn't really heat it up, but it sure does make it taste nice. 
That's a pretty decent bowl of peppers for a morning. Wow, these are going to be hot. I can smell that. Should I bite into one? <laughs> Don't think so. And for my super hot club, you were waiting for me to get these hot ones. I told you I had them in the ground. Now they're just now coming ripe. You can do this too. And if you want to learn about deep mulch gardening, click that link right there and I'll meet you back in the garden. If you want to learn about the living soil, click that link right there and I'll meet you back in the garden. And until next time, remember, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.